So we've owned the building for about uh, two and a half years and some of the challenges that we faced are, um, you know, when we first bought it, there was a hole in the roof, um, which led to water damage inside. So that was one of the challenges that we faced um, as well as securing the building, uh, making sure that people weren't um, trespassing and, um, and breaking into the building, which we did have. Um, so those have been kind of the, the biggest challenges that we faced were just securing the building and then making sure that we maintained it, um, the, the integrity of the building until we could really do some major repairs. I grew up in this neighborhood and I used to, like my mom used to drive us up and down 24th Street and they used to sell popcorn balls in front of the church and that was something that I just distinctly remembered and all I could think about was, oh, if I had that church, this is what I would do with it or this is what I would do with it. Um, I was talking with, uh, with a friend about what we wanted to do in terms of building an economic development um, hub in the community and she said, well, where would you do it? And I was like, either the OOIC building that's right down the street or Vault Church. And she said, well, look into it. So I um, was talking to a friend who works at UNO and he was like, well, Pastor Parker is my, you know, is my family. I'll talk to him and he talked to him. I got on a call with Pastor Parker and talked about what I wanted to do and he said, make me an offer. And I made him an offer on the building and that was that. Was that. We ended up um, with a, a successful um, real estate transaction. <laughs> right now the role of the POC Collaborative Community Resource Center is really to be a convener and a connector within the community. So if there are activities that people are interested in being part of, to, to make those connections between individuals and organizations. We also um, are working to be an economic development, so helping individuals, families, businesses um, build sustainable um, practices that can enable them to, to build generational wealth and keep that wealth in our community. There are, um, there's always gonna be change um, in neighborhoods. There's, there's different cycles of things that happen. Um, one of the changes that I'm seeing now is just a, a, a renaissance in a way where a lot of people are really invested in bringing North Omaha back to um, its heyday, what it used to be with a lot of businesses lining 24th Street. And that's really what um, collectively what we're all working for. Currently, our goal really is to accomplish, um, to achieve collaboration. I think collaboration and um, cooperation is really important. So that's the number one goal that we're working on right now is just to build a community of practice that um, where we're all rowing in the same direction. So we're all you know, doing our different things, but we're all moving forward together.